I think it's pretty ironic that I'm filming a review video for a show called Wordless considering I'm in the process of losing my voice. Hi, my name is Daniela and I've never been to a concert before. Sure, I've been to gigs, but a concert feels like an entirely different concept to me. So when Barbican Young Reviewers asked me to go and review Wordless by Art Spiegelman, I was a little bit apprehensive. I know nothing about comic books and I know next to nothing about jazz unless you count the opening sequence to Chicago. Wordless is a collaboration between American comic book artist Art Spiegelman and jazz composer Philip Johnston. The aim of the performance is to transform comic book reading from an intimate practice to a group experience that the entire audience can share. And they do this by co-mixing jazz music with comic book art. Comix? Comics? Did you get it? Art Spiegelman made that joke, it wasn't me, I promise. Don't blame me for that. The setup of the performance is pretty simple. It's a performative lecture. The lecturer is Art Spiegelman. He stands really comfortably at the lectern. You can tell he's at ease with an audience, which immediately puts you at ease. Behind him on the screen, he shows an array of comic book art he deems interesting and important for this wordless genre. He even includes some of his own comic book art, such as this. The co-mixing thing I was talking about earlier, I told you I didn't make it up. He makes some puns with the art and some of them are quite explicit but they're really funny. He's wearing a fedora and I think he's smoking a pipe, I couldn't really tell. And from that, he exudes a confidence, an aura and an embodiment of jazz which sets the tone of the performance completely. The composition of the jazz music used in the background of showing the comic books is excellent. The Silent Six the jazz band who are playing the music are brilliant. They create cat whales and flashes to accompany what's seen before us on the screens and transform these still images almost into silent movies as we see it progress. It definitely brings out the comedy in the art. However, there was a moment in the show that, where there was a technical difficulty. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I think I noticed the, the musicians kind of talking about their earbuds or something and Spiegelman suddenly said that something had gone wrong. So we did halt the performance a bit, but luckily it was handled with good humour and it was sorted really quickly. So I definitely commend the performers not being too deterred by it. My only real issue with the performance was that I kept losing interest in zoning out. The show felt pretty formulaic. It was almost like a university lecture with no surprise. Art would speak and images would be shown in the background. Then he'd stop speaking, the jazz music would bubble up accompanying a comic book strip which would see brought to life. Perhaps it was because I don't know much about the medium that I kept zoning out. Maybe if I'd known more about it, I'd have been definitely interested to see how jazz and comic books interact as they seem like the complete antithesis of each other. One is silent and wordless as the show suggests and the other is full of life and joy and music and volume. Maybe that's something to explore another time. Overall, I did really enjoy the performance. It was nice to see something completely different to what I'd normally pick. I'm much more of a theatre-going person, so going to a concert was completely out of my depth, but I'm definitely looking into seeing more things in the future. However, maybe I'll try to see something that's a little bit shorter to keep my attention span up. If you're thinking of seeing the show, be aware that it feels like it's for people that know a lot about the two mediums, either jazz or comic book art. At times I felt out of my depth watching it, there were definitely a lot of masterminds about these subjects in the audiences, and I felt like there were a couple of in-jokes that I didn't really understand because I'm not acquainted with these mediums of entertainment. And overall, I did really enjoy it, thanks to Jan Barbican for letting me go see this, and I'll see you next time with another review.